Hi everyone, I wanted to come on here and share the latest word given to Handmade of the Most High. I'm going to break this up into two parts. It is titled, Which Group Are You In? This is for the Bride. And it was posted on April 11, 2020. She says, To everyone who has opened this, please, I plead you, read the whole thing. Even if you are offended by it, if it isn't for you, maybe it is for someone you know. Please pray about this before you even read further. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to you and all that read this. Pray for yourself and for others. May the Lord have mercy on all of us. For the last two weeks and especially the last two days, the Holy Spirit has been speaking and teaching me about those who are lost and fail to realize it. Last May, he gave me a vision and an interpretation of a vineyard where nearly all the grapes were dried up and would not be used in the wine press. He has been giving me many interactions with people that truly believe they are going to heaven because they believe in Jesus, yet they have no understanding of the cross and how it wor its work. And its work, I apologize. These people have not been transformed by the Holy Spirit. When I ask, are you a Christian? Some may say, well, I don't go to church. I have to say that wasn't what I asked you. I want them thinking, that answer alone shows that they have no spiritual connection because they associate going to church as a sign of holiness and relationship with Christ. Others will refer to things, ministers, teachers, saints, priests, ancestors, etc. have said or taught that are beliefs with no basis in scripture, such as, well, I try to be good. This is really a Hindu belief very prevalent to today in Western culture. When I ask, who is Jesus to you? They often ask, what do you mean? I clarify by say, asking, I want to know what you believe or what was Jesus's purpose or otherwise refocus on his mission on earth. So many are, lo are really lost. I'm sorry. So many really are lost, even though they believe in quotes. The problem goes much deeper than that. In the past week or so, I have been given, I have been shown multiple scriptures, but mainly Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 10. And, and I'm going to stop there. So those are the scriptures that you want to read. Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 10. Actually, I'll read that out for you guys. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us in you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. And the next video is going to be what the Holy Spirit, it says here is what the Holy Spirit, the voice of our Father is saying. So I'm gonna continue that in the next video. Love you all. I pray that you all have a blessed day.